closets at the end of the hallway. Meet me downstairs. I want to show you everything. Fight. You gotta be different like these four cops. They were known as the Hat Squad. And they wore hats and dusters as a symbol of that difference, and no criminal would mess with them. As orphans, you boys know what it is to be victims. And they protected people like you. So maybe someday you could be like them.
get you. Tell us what happened last night or am I going to have to get tough? Matt, buddy, is my brother's. I hope that you understand that whatever happened between me and Wanda, no matter how provocative, must remain between two consenting adults. Come on, Rafi, it's your first date. Nothing that exciting could have happened. Could it? Matt, you're asking me to reveal secrets, to betray a confidence, to break a sacred bond. So you're gonna see her again, or what? What, after last night? She insisted. <laughs> Come on, let's change get out of here. I don't care if you believe me or not. I mean, this girl is definitely digging my rap. Over know? the phone, Raffy. That doesn't count. She hasn't survived a face-to-face -face meeting with the Mambo King yet. Nice, nice respect. Oh, come on, Raffy. You got all the tools to be great at this dating thing. I mean, you were smart. You're generous. Plus, you spent your whole life hanging out with us. Ten bucks says he doesn't make it to the second date. Oh, oh take that bet. You want me to bet on the romantic abilities of our own brother? Yeah. Take the bet. Oh, that's cold, man. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks? Where are you meeting her? Westside Cafe. Midnight. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? Do you want a piece of this action? I was just looking for you guys. You got a minute? Uh, they do. I don't. Bye. Actually, we've been on a stakeout for two days. We're exhausted and we're hungry. What do you got, McKay? I got an 18-year-old girl who witnessed a homicide at a downtown club. We sent units to the scene. They found the club owner with a knife in his chest. Straight homicide. Why are you looking for us? Because the witness says you're her babysitter, Matt. Hiya, Matt. What's happening, babe? I don't think I've seen you since you were... Yep, well, we're all grown up now, aren't we, Matt? Yeah. Yes, we are. Hey, buddy, you remember the Kempers? Lived over on Oakmont? I remember Kimberly Kemper. Yeah, that's my claim to fame. I'm Kimberly Kemper's little sister. I used to babysit Lisa when I was in high school. So what have you been doing? Since I was 12, what have I been doing? Watching my parents get divorced, watching my sister become homecoming queen, losing my virginity, going into drug rehab, getting out of rehab, going back into rehab, watching my sister marry Mr. Wright, getting cut off from my parents and witnessing a brutal murder. That's pretty much the highlights. And you? Can I get you something, Lisa? A dozen aspirin and your gun. Vicap shows three assaults and one homicide with a blade that's identical in the past six months. I say we run these down. This is not an SID call. There's no evidence that the perp is a career criminal. Come on. I said we check it out, huh? This is a stretch, Matt. None of the descriptions of these suspects come close to even matching her report. Look, buddy, she saw the killer. The killer saw her. Lisa could be in danger here. Is this a police officer's concern or a personal concern? Oh, it's a babysitter's concern. Come on, man. She's 18. Going on 30. Yeah, well, if it were Kimberly Kemper out there, you'd already be on the streets. Now, I'm going to talk to these victims in the morning. You and Raffy want to help, you're welcome to. Oh, Raffy, it's 12.05, man. His date is probably running down the street in terror by now. Get that 50 right. Hey, I have faith in my brother. 
Well, you know, we wear the fedoras and the dusters as a way to pay homage to the hat squad of the late 40s and 50s. I have to admit, I find Welcome. it Once again, very attractive. Citizens arrest. The show that offers you a $500 reward for information leading to the capture of criminals in our community. Well, you know, Tonight, not everybody Citizens looks good Arrest hat. takes a look at Ramon Rodriguez, the kissing bandit. By a Latin lover beyond comparison. Oh, okay. He preys on single women, anyway, old the, uh, women, widows and divorcees with the, uh, large uh, bank accounts. He's a snappy dresser who takes pride in his appearance. He romances these they women, around, fills their lives with big, empty open promises, cars, and then relieves them of their life savings. If you, know, you wore the hats have information and the, and the about the kissing the bandit, hell out please call guys, our toll-free you know, 1-800-555-BUST. Would you excuse me for a minute? That's 1-800-555-BUST. You okay? You look a little upset. No, no, I'm fine. I'll be right back. Don't go away, okay? Where would I go? When the magic is working, possibilities are endless. That uh, hat squad rap, it uh, really works. You were listening, you tell me. Officer Bob, I found the kissing bandit. She had you arrested? She tried to have me arrested. Oh, man. I talked my way out of it. it took like 20 minutes. <laughs> Killed the whole mood and everything. Why didn't you just flash your badge? I did. Right after the uniforms wrestled me to the ground. Apparently, this kissing bandit is really ticking people off. I'd say I won that bet. Whoa, 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 not so fast. You're going to see her again, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to see her again, sure. I mean, at least I think so. I mean, she's pretty much convinced that I'm not the kissing bandit. But? But she was kind of counting on the $500 reward money, so... All right, listen up. All four of these victims said they borrowed money from a place called Jasper Investments. When they couldn't pay, they got a brutal visit from a guy named Alan Jasper. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know Alan Jasper. You don't know your own boss. I've never met him. I was hired through a temp service. Alan Jasper calls at noon and at five. He picks up his messages. I pick up a paycheck. There's an empty office back there. You can see for yourself. <sighs> You've been very helpful, Linda. Tell me something. Do you have a phone number here at work? <laughs> Pintel says the calls that come in at noon and five each day come from the same number. You ran a Pintel? You were supposed to get a court order. Oh, gee, I forgot. Well, where do you hear who the number belongs to? Okay, I'll bite. The Macaulay Estate. As in Mason Macaulay? The very same. Why do I know that name? It's the first name you see in the morning. Holly Master. Ah, the finest blades on the face of the earth. Mr. McCauley, tell us what you know about Jasper Investments. I have never heard of Jasper Investments. There are calls made from here to Jasper Investments twice a day. Can you explain that? I don't feel as if I have to explain anything to you people. Humorous. Well, we have a very large staff. We have 25 telephones. It could have been any one of them or someone coming over the wall, or someone using the phone down at the pool, or out at the stables. Every day at noon and five? The help is uh, very precise. Where were you last night around 10 o'clock? I was home all evening. Is there anyone here who could confirm that? I'm sure any one of them would swear to it. But then again, I pay them, don't I? Allow me to simplify things here, fellas. You say this man you're looking for is loaning money to businessmen and then assaulting them when they fail to pay. That's right. Yes, well, do I look like a loan shark to you? Take a look around, gentlemen. What would I do with the interest, huh? Redecorate. <sighs> what happened to your hand? Oh, I uh, hit it on the diving board. It's, it's very painful. Mr. McCauley, you're under arrest. Do you have the right to remain silent? Anything you say can will be used against you. Well, Taylor Maxwell, Mother, have a meet us. I Where do you take the 77 person? Do you have the right to remain silent? Well, Taylor Maxwell, do it now, Mother. I will, I will, Andrew. Please, Mr. McCauley, please. Please, please, 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 please. Please, please,
Number three. this room until he's out of this building and on his way to county jail. Okay? Okay. Oh, hey, where the hell's he going? Right out the back door. We got a direct line of sight felony here with a positive We're ID. Calling We're calling the line the question, officer. this guy. I don't think so more than that the district attorney represented by Mr. Baxley well, here doesn't think right? so either. Right. Andrew, you go on ahead. I'll catch you when I get back. Ooh, and constabulary duties to be done, to be done. A policeman's law is not a happy one. <laughs> I'll see you later, boys. It's been a uh, lot of fun. And hey, don't forget to write, huh? <laughs> Your pin tail was done without a court order? Your direct line of sight witness was shaking the lineup, not to mention the fact that she has a history of drug and alcohol. Yeah, well, she abuse. went through rehab. My point exactly. She admits she was inebriated the night of the incident. Her description doesn't even come close to matching Mr. McCauley. She bit his hand. He has bandages on his hand. Coincidence, speculation, it was caused in the act of a crime. What about oh. a medical examination? Oh, come on, boys. You know the rules. No arrest, no medical examination. You're the DA. You just gonna let him walk? My hands are tied. His hands are tied. Andrew McCall has been arrested for assault or sexual battery six times in ten years. Opened up a guy's head with an oar, beat the hell out of a guy in Saratoga and Palm Springs, and was accused of beating and raping a 22-year-old girl. The Teresa Miller incident, I remember that. He holds a knife to her throat, starts singing Gilbert and Sullivan. When he was finally acquitted, the newspapers had a field day. This guy's been in the tabloids more than Elvis since he died. Uh, allegedly died. Don't be spreading rumors. <laughs> This guy's got a sealed juvie file. Clerk says it's three and a half inches thick. He must be worth a fortune. Didn't old man Macaulay die? About ten years ago, a boating accident. He built the museum, Macaulay Square, owned the hockey team. I don't get this. This guy's a millionaire. He lends money to business people, and then he beats the hell out of them when they don't pay back. Maybe it's his hobby. Some hobby. operation downstairs. I still don't see why all this is necessary. He knows we're not giving up on this case. He may come after you anyway. You're cops. Your job is to catch criminals. My job is to go to parties. Whoa, the Orpheum. Are we gonna, like, score some blow? Because I'm trying to quit, you know? Do your parents know you talk this way? They would if they talk to me. business like this. They'll never look for you here. Okay. 
This guy's gonna make a move. We gotta be ready on both ends. We'll each take a shift with Miss Congeniality. The other two will watch the Macaulay house and follow Andrew, all right? Cut cards for the night shift. No, 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 no not the cards. Yes, the no, cards. No, what? No, I what? have lost the last 17 cuts in a row. Oh. You do? Oh, that's very funny. You know there's a deuce in there with my name on it. All right, audio. All right, all, all right, right. All right. Yeah. You ready? Okay, all right. One, two, three. <sighs> it's fate. You're just not good at it. Ooh. Listen to me. Listen. We're gonna be on a stakeout. I want to be prepared. Pull up to that store on the corner over there, will you? All right. Now you listen to me. We're gonna stay away from the ding dings and the mini donuts. We gotta stick to the fruits, the veggies, and the bottled water. We start eating potato chips and drinking soda pop all night. It ain't gonna be pretty. It's not just like that. We've had numerous calls from you. Upstanding citizens about Ramon Rodriguez That's it, all, sir. since our That's last it. broadcast. Yes. Three more women came forward, all of whom had been married or engaged to this man. That's it. Remember, it is not right what you do to these women. Five hundred dollars for what information would? leading to the capture and conviction of criminals in our community. If you have information oh, about no. the kissing bandit, no, that, please that's call not me. Toilet. That's the kissing bandit. I'm just the guy who looks like him. Then tell that to the women who lost their fortunes. Whoa. Now put the gun down. You got the wrong guy. You're not going to collect here. I do not seek the reward. I seek justice. In my native country, men who treat women the way you do would be dealt with harshly. Trust me. As far as women are concerned, I'm being dealt with very harshly in this country. Now please, put the gun down. I'm a police officer. I'm going to show you my badge. Watch closely. I'm a police officer. Please, just put the gun down. This kissing bandit's making me nuts. I'll tell you, I chip in an extra 500 bucks just to get this guy off the streets and out of my life. Don't worry, they'll catch him. It's crazy. He doesn't look anything like me. He looks exactly like oh, you. Oh, please. Hey, he's got five women to marry him in the last two years. So what's your point? Get it. I wonder how Matt's doing with his babysitting chores. Look what I found. Congratulations, you made it to 10 without a cocktail. So judgmental. You want them? I'm on duty. You always wear such a straight little arrow. What are you talking about? Don't worry. You're still my favorite babysitter. Really? Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I had all these old maid babysitters. Frumpy women with weird accents. <laughs> then you came along and I was like, hello, check this out. I thought you were just about the hottest thing in the world. Of course, when you're 12, you can't really express your feelings. You can't really act on your impulses. Just a crush. But now... All along, here in this theater. That's right. With a maniac out there trying to kill you? Please, you're changing the subject. It doesn't bother you at all that this guy's coming after you. Bring him on. You've really got this death wish wrapped down, don't you? You sound just like my shrink. Besides, I don't have to worry. I have you to protect me. Don't I? Sergeant Matheson. You tell anyone you were here? Anyone who'd listen. Besides, no telling how long it'll take the half patrol to make a case out of this one. Hello? Yo, Lisa, what's up? You mind if I take this call alone, Sergeant Matheson? Yes, I do. My babysitter's watching me, so don't say anything that could get me in trouble with my parents. What's up? Well, my parents are still out of town, so I'm throwing an all-nighter tonight. Major bash. The world is going to be here. Can you get out? I don't think so. Well, good. Then get over here as soon as you can, because I need you to help me get started on this thing, okay? I'll see what I can do.
So, where were we? Is that what you wanted? No, that was perfect. Jumped in a cab and headed west. Oh, man. All right, we'll call the taxi dispatcher and see where she's headed and meet you there.
Then again, she's free. <sighs> Lucky her. You listen to me. You're running pretty damn fast for someone who doesn't care whether she lives or dies. deserve this kind of treatment. You didn't do a thing, Mother, until I got in trouble. And you or Daddy would fix it. You see, I do these things because I can. But I want to help you, Andrew. You can go to California. You can stay at the compound in Palm Springs. Not part of my itinerary. The Dana Maxwell said he could make it hard for them to extradite you back here. Oh, you need help. We'll send Dr. Reynolds out there. Oh, and who's going to take care of Dr. Reynolds' mother? You'll need to ship his shrink down there, too. We don't need Dr. Reynolds. I just gave you a wonderfully insightful analysis of my condition. Why throw good money after bad? Andrew, you're leaving me no choice. If you keep acting this way, I'm going to cut you off. No, Mother. That's the last thing Dad said to me on the boat. Don't make the same mistake he made. Answer the door! Where is he? He's not here. Please, don't kill him. Warrants on an APB out. We got officers taking out the theater in case he shows up there looking for his witness. Turn on the TV. You're not going to believe this. What's going on? Why? Everybody downstairs watching. Just turn it on. Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> Repeating Officer Bob's all points bulletin, we may have a breakthrough in the matter of Ramon Rodriguez, a.k.a. the Kissing Bandit. Thank God. Our nefarious gigolo was nearly captured by citizen Ahmed Ahmad at a convenience store on 10th Street last night. Well, give me a break over here, will uh, you? Apparently, Mr. Rodriguez has taken to impersonating a police officer and uses that technique to elude capture. What are you talking about? He let me go. The perpetrator talked his way out of a capture by Mr. Ahmad, who promptly brought us this tape made from the store's surveillance cameras. I'm dying over here. You're dead. It is believed at this time that Mr. Ramon Rodriguez, the kissing bandit, may be armed, dangerous, and wearing a hat. Join us again tomorrow for another episode. My life is over. <laughs> you relax, son. They'll capture this guy. They're going to capture me. I can't go out in public until this clown's behind bars. Yeah, I still can't believe they got you two confused. You don't look anything like this guy. That's exactly what I'm saying. No way. This is a great look. Romeo, married five times. No offense. No offense taken. Listen, we're putting out an APB on this guy ourselves. Come on. You're much better looking than this guy. Look, um, I want to apologize for the way I've been behaving. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I've been a dink. I've been thinking about um, what you were saying about running, about wanting to live. 
You were right. These last couple of years, um, you know, I, I wish I could have them back. The things I've done, the way I've behaved. I've been blaming everyone but myself, my sister, my parents. God, I miss my parents. Why'd you call and tell him? I don't think I can. Sure you can. Look. I've been thinking about this. I'll do anything you want to help catch that guy. No, no, wait. Forget it. I'm not putting no, you in danger. No, please. You have, to let, you have to let me help. I'm really scared. Oh, come on. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. We shouldn't be doing this. Why not? Because. Because I'm only 18. You're not that much older than I am. Lisa. X-ray 6 to 1020, wrapping. They just sighted your kissing bandit coming out of Morton's Grill on 23rd Street. I love it. I don't believe it. Pull over. Ramon, my man. The city's been looking for you. Police, we want to talk to you about your last five marriages. Your what? Oh, Ramon, give me a break. Come here. Ramon, is this what you bring on a date? Huh? A knife? That's a disappointment. What the hell are you doing? I'm gonna put my foot down on this whole kissing bandit business. Yes! Hey, you know what? I'm much better looking than you are. Chew on this. Every month, over 100 million of... All right, you're sure Macaulay's gonna show up at that theater? He could have found out where we were stashing Lisa from Jennifer Collier before he killed her. Lisa's the only reason he has to stay in town. If he doesn't have a target, he'll never come out of hiding. He's got a target. Just make sure he doesn't hit it. What the hell was that? Don't move. Stay here. Guys, get in here. There's someone in the theater.
shot, boys. If you ever need a babysitter, just give me a call. I was thinking about Friday night. Oh, gee, I don't know. I'll have to see if I can get the car. <laughs> All right, well, I think he's got that situation under control. What do you think? Let's go down in that corner store over there and get some Cuban sandwiches. My treat. Come on. Since when do you treat? Well, since I got, uh, $500 burning a hole in my pocket. You didn't? <laughs> yes, I did. Hey, I deserve that reward. I captured Ramon Rodriguez, the kissing bandit. Raffi, you're a police officer. That's got to be some kind of violation. No, 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 no. I checked with citizens' arrest. There's nothing in the rules preventing a police officer from collecting. That's not what I meant. I know what you meant. <laughs> you know, if I'd have known I was eligible, I'd have turned you in myself. See, now that I believe. 